very quickly, Riggs, uh, I want to go through uh, just, just an update because your frack water cleanup uh, announcement in Colorado got me about 500 emails uh, when you were on last time. So I, I want to take some time here and talk about uh, kind of what's going on. First of all, Small Caps are People Too is a segment where we feature small cap companies that we follow around. I don't do it very often. In fact, I'm only following one at this point, and that's, uh, and that's uh, Riggs and, and Origin Oil. And we've had in the past, you know, six or seven companies we've followed through a year. But this, you know, th the way that, that Origin Oil has, uh, has moved forward, uh, we, uh, we've, we've kind of been fascinated with the story because it started out uh, as one very strong company and turned into, you know, still one strong company with maybe six verticals to it. OriginOil.com is their website. Double O-I-L is their stock symbol. Riggs Eckleberry is the CEO. He joins me now from Los Angeles. Riggs, thanks for swinging by today. Hey, Sully, it's a great pleasure, and uh, I'm sorry I'm phoning it in this time, but uh, That's perhaps okay. I can you look fantastic. do better next time. Hey, listen, you look fantastic, and I can tell you, um, the more I read about this thing, the more I read about the, uh, and, and I, I do want to talk about the, I, I want to talk about the performance testing phase uh, for the 1,500 barrels a day, but let's talk about the, the, the clean water frack announcement you had last time. Can you, can you re-explain what happened there? Because there's a lot of people interested in that announcement. You're talking about the chlorine dioxide thing yeah. we talked about last week? Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing because it turns out chlorine dioxide, which you, know, you use in your pool and so forth, uh, and we know that it can be generated elect electrically, um, and uh, you were just telling me, in fact, about your saltwater pool where you are actually chlorinating on the fly. Right. But how do you do that in a volume, vast amounts of volume, to deal with 10,000 barrels a day of water pouring through? What does chlorine dioxide do? Of course, it kills bacteria. It unplugs uh, wells because it breaks the oil water emulsion. And it also um, you know, can kill hydrogen sulfide which makes that terrible rotten egg smell that we smell around tar pits and lagoons. And when re-injected as frack water, can actually help make that sour crude information <laughs> sweeter. Yeah, so, so basically you're, you, are, you are improving the asset is what it comes down to. A good, uh, incredible reason for all companies to recycle as opposed to throwing into disposal wells, sure. which have also been implicated with these earthquakes in Oklahoma recently. Hey, let's talk real quickly about, uh, about uh, your first licensee completing the demonstration systems. Before we talk about this, uh, uh, you know, and, and bring up the website, guys, because I want to I I show something here to the TV audience and for our radio audience who's listening to us on radio nationwide, coast to coast. This is breakthrough water technology. And, and really, um, what we're talking about here is they started out extracting stuff from water. And that stuff happened to be oil and gas and algae. And what was left over, of course, was clean water, but then it was also oil and gas left over and algae left over. Well, the idea began, Briggs, if I'm not mistaken, you guys, were you guys always a licensing player? Did, did you guys morph into that very quickly after you realized that you could license this technology rather than put big boxes out there? Well, the only, the only way to get to market rapidly is to, is to license, so that's the only way. And in fact, we know that Google's done this incredibly successfully with Android. They said, here, take it, you know, uh, as opposed to Apple, which said, no, it can only be on an Apple uh, right. structure. And it's very similar to our competitor, Halliburton, where you have to purchase their services alongside, and you're really not going to be able to get it on your own. And since the industry is about 80% independence, uh, you know, this is the Android versus iOS story. Riggs, I got my, my question for you on this one is, is now you've got, I mean, you mentioned the Dolby licensing model, like for Dolby stereos way back in the day where they had a noise suppressor. And instead of selling stereos, they licensed that technology. So fast forward here to Origin Oil and the, and the electrical water separation, the, the, the EWS, the high-speed chemical-free process to clean up large quantities of water. You guys now have a licensee who has completed a demonstration and, uh, and they, they did it on frack water, which is, there's a couple of big, just in that headline right there, there's a lot of big things going on there. Number one, first licensee. Number two, uh, uh, treatment of frack water. Th that's pretty political. At the same time, you guys can be agnostic because you've just solved a problem that people are worried about. You did it in a clean way. There's no question that something's got to be done about the water because this, you know, in many drought areas, uh, also water itself is an asset to the company is doing the fracking because if they can reuse it on site, they don't have to keep uh, bringing trucks in, which hurts uh, roads and so forth, and it costs a lot of money to them. So it's a win-win all around uh, to actually do something about that water. And uh, you know we're getting increasing support from both sides of the aisle, frankly, who are saying, oh, look, uh, fine, there's going to be arguments about whether to frack or not. But if we're fracking, let's clean the water. 
Yeah, well, and, and, at the, and at the same time, uh, now you've got this company called Pearl H2O, uh, who entered into a performance testing phase for 1,500 barrels per day system treating flowback water from the Monterey Formation. Explain what happens there. Okay, this is our first licensee. These are the people who first encouraged us to get into this business, and they raised a lot of money uh, to build this industrial grade system that is, uh, you know, at a site, at a customer site of theirs, treating water from formation. Uh, and uh, in fact, I've got pictures uh, that show the site and also some water samples of how they've treated it all the way to clean. Now, their technology combined with ours creates water that is safe to reuse as frack water. Mm -hmm. It's been descaled, which is the most important thing. You don't want to mess up the, the oil well. Riggs, this is the first license, this is the first commercial scale system in the world, right? For us, it's the first time that electrowater separation has been used at a commercial grade site. It's a huge win for us. It's a fully engineered system. Uh, the Pearl Blue people are super excited about that. Um, you know, the, the, the site, uh, pearlbluewater.com, has, uh, has, has pictures of, of, of their uh, technology and so forth. We're fully embedded. And, uh, you know, come to our site, read the press release, originoil.com. Mm -hmm. We are just blown away. And, uh, in fact, if we have a few moments, we can show those photos. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to keep you over the break. I'm going to keep you longer than you anticipated because it's, it's, it's big stuff this week, number one. Number two, when we come back, I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring in these, uh, these pictures and then also the, the, the before after of the water because I think it's important that we take a look at it. Rick Zeckelberry, our guest, he's the CEO of Origin Oil, OriginOil.com, stock symbol double O I L. And once again, uh, part of our small caps are people too segment. And, and the reason uh, Rig's on today because the new press release that came out talking about uh, the first Origin Oil licensee completing the demonstration system inc incorporating the EWS, the electro water separation. So it's been, if you're following this, I know a lot of you are because I get a lot of emails about it. Uh, it's, it's very big news, and, and, and probably uh, pr you know more more than a proof of concept that's already been done. It's the fact that now we've got a licensee uh, who is a big supporter and is a big supporter of Originale, banging the drum for Originale. So let's just to review real quickly, Riggs, before I let you out of here today, uh, um, the high-speed chemical-free process that you guys invented, the uh, the, the um, proprietary technology called EWS, electro water separation, uh, Origin Oil. Uh, has now uh, licensed uh, a complete demonstration system incorporating that, or that EWS system on the treatment of frack water with a company called Pearl H2O. You got some pictures you want to show us? Yeah, we, sh uh, we should have some pictures. Uh, and these are exclusive, by the way. They have not been published because the site is actually not yet public. Uh, and so uh, Curtis is uh, hopefully bringing these things up. Yeah. But we have is uh, also before and after uh, water shots, which could be cool. And uh, basically what we got is a site uh, where that processes a huge amount every day of this um, uh, Bakersfield water, which comes out of you know, these frack operations and regular producing production operations. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you have here on the screen is a picture. OK, bingo. Yeah, there we go. Far left is the water coming out of formation, which is really skunky. Now, we do the heavy is lifting. Is that the before in, picture, Riggs? The far left yeah. is the before, right. Wow. So for now, our radio audience, you're looking at what appears to be maple syrup. <laughs> I, mean, on, and that's, I mean, that's the color of it, right? Yeah, or tar. I mean, it's really funky. Yeah, right. Um, and then middle is uh, we do the heavy lifting. We get the, the, oil, the oil, suspended oils out and, right. and a whole bunch of stuff. That's us in the middle. And then far right is where, where Pearl Blue Water has, ta has really taken it to the stage where it can be re-injected safely down hole. There's no more scale. As you can see, there's no more turbidity. It's ready to go. So between the, uh, and what we're seeing here for our radio audience, is it's basically, you know, uh, uh, the, the pre-water looks honestly the color of dark, dark maple syrup. The, the, after the frack water cleanup that you guys use, it looks like uh, very light gasoline. And then, and then the, uh, the pure, the Pearl H2O looks like a bottle of water you'd see in a grocery store. Um, is that where this is going, Riggs? Where, you know, water cleanup to, for, for potable water? Well, the other picture that, that Curtis showed briefly is, is a great one because it shows an entire array of possibilities. Now, the Pearl Blue Water System is the third one down where you have right. frack water sure. uh, reuse. Now, you can go all the way down to potable water. It gets more expensive, of course, 
but it's totally feasible. And the benefit of our system is it keeps all those membranes that, that create the, the, the clean water from fouling up from all the gunk. You know we make I, sure the oil is out of there. I want, you want to do next week, I want to revisit the technology that's higher up on the food scale that we talked to. You got the, the origin oil, electro water separation. But what we, what we talked about with, uh, with um, uh, Nicholas last week, your chief uh, invention officer, chief research officer there at Origin Oil, was the, was the, uh, the new technology that kind of is a little higher on the food chain there. So let's spend some time with that next time. Riggs, Eckleberry, Origin Oil, OriginOil.com, stock symbol double O-I-L, part of our small caps for people two segment. Thank you, buddy. I'll see you next week in studio. Very nice. There's a good yes, looking sir. Riggs Eckleberry for you.